All right, there are all types of reports. I mean, it's the daily Tom Brady speculation tour. It right just now. means nothing's going on, so what they gotta beat the dead horse. Well, you I got get several people, reporters, legitimate reporters, saying that he's basically out of New England. Jeff Darlington of ESPN said today on Get Up, I'm now at the point where I would be stunned if Tom Brady went back to New England. Karen Gurrigan Gur- uh, of the Boston Herald is now saying that the odds of Brady returning to the Patriots are, quote, not looking good. And Ian Rappaport of NFL Network is saying that Brady's reps have already met with the Chargers, Raiders, and Colts. And uh, Mike Girardi from the NFL Network. He's a good manager. Yeah. He's with the Phillies now. But, but he, oh, that's Joe Girardi. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> He said yesterday on Twitter that, you know, a lot of people are talking at the combines and uh, the initial reaction has been there's no way Tom Brady's leaving New England. But now, he said, as you talk more to executives, coaches, and scouts, now they're seeing the Titans, the Raiders, and the Giants as possible suitors. Uh, So there's all of that, all these reports that it looks like Brady's out of New England. And then Peter King goes on Boston Radio today and says that he's been told by someone who's very plugged in that Brady's definitely going back to New England. So He didn't write a story like breaking the news. He just said he he had breakfast with a a really plugged in I'm just saying, like like he's a reporter, right? He breaks news. If he had that story, he would write it for uh, right. NBC.com. I don't think any of them are breaking anything, saying he's out of here. No, I'm not saying Sources that. Sources have said he's gone. But I'm, ta- I'm just talking just about talking. And, and, and I'll say this from years of covering the NBA free agency. It's nice. You, you got to talk to people. And when you go on the air, you know, you can say, yeah, I talk with seven executives from different teams, and they all think LeBron is going to the Minnesota Timberwolves or, you know, or whatever. They all think LeBron's leaving Cleveland, whatever it may be. But the, the fact is, these other executives don't know. They don't know. They're good to talk to, but they don't know what a player for another team is going to do. I, I, I agree they with that. They can say they not... talk to, you know, they've talked to other teams and, you know, they, they, they've talked to agents. But, this, but, but this generally, is... these guys keep things close to the vest and are not telling anybody. So it's all speculation. But people break stories. And my point. Yeah, but none of these guys are trying to break no, it. No, but, but this none is. None of them have but, written but it like this a is breaking why, news story. But this is story. why I don't, I don't buy into Peter King. Peter King is in the breaking news business for football. If Peter well, King. But he, he, I'm just he's Chris. Not I'm like not like Adam Schefter. I'm, no, but, but he, he breaks, also does. He other breaks stuff. stories, though, right. does he not? They all do. Okay, but I'm just saying. Jeff Darlington is, too. If Peter King had a source that he really felt good about that he was going back, that he could oh, work a, that agreed. into a piece, he would but write the that. The same thing goes for every I'm single just one saying, of these. But I'm, I'm just going from my thing about Peter King. That he's a big name. For, so Peter King saying. That he's going back, people look at that and go, "Oh, Peter King said he's, right. he's leaving." That's all I'm saying is he's a big name in football. Right. And why would Peter King go on the radio unless he felt really comfortable with whoever told him that? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm, I get you. He That's wasn't all. reporting. It. I, I, I agree. But that, nowadays, as we've talked about it before, it gets all mixed up. Right. Because if you're a known reporter and you just say something speculating, or you're on a podcast and you say, "You know what?" I, I think that Anthony Davis, I, I think he may leave. Now, you're not saying reporting that, but, but that's, they put that out there as, oh, so-and-so said AD might leave in free agency. Yeah, that, so it becomes that, yeah, a story. That, that's my point. It becomes a quote-unquote report. I'm just going to say this to the news of the day, whether speculative or whatever. I just think, I, I said this from the very beginning, I do not believe that Tom Brady is going to wind up back in New, in New England. I just don't. Robert Kraft loves this guy, 20 years, only wore that uniform, won six championships. Lucky or not, he's won six championships with that franchise. If Robert Kraft really wanted Tom Brady, he wouldn't say, go check your value at free agency. He would say, you're a Patriot, Patriot. You'll never wear another uniform. I don't care what it costs me. The Patriots have plenty of money that they could figure it out and do what Tom Brady wants, Chris. If it's not just about money and he wants them to go get some players, the Patriots could do that. 
if they really wanted Tom Brady. I, I just don't understand what the whole holdup is. They don't want Tom Brady needs to go around the country and meet with the Chargers and meet with the Titans well, he's not and the check out. Doing well, that. well, his what you call it, his uh, what, what was the report? He's gonna his, have people come to him. His agent or whatever have gone out and and met with these other teams. My whole point is Tom Brady doesn't need to do that. Tom Brady should should wind up being Derek Jeter. 20 your whole, years your with the whole Yankees. Thing has been they, all the great ones end elsewhere. But I'm telling you, you in said this Peyton case. Manning ended up in Denver. In, in Joe this, Montana in, in Kansas but City. But the difference is he has an owner who professes that he loves Tom you Brady. You don't think those that owners t- no, love Montana no, I don't and believe, No, really? I don't believe it. Nope. The Indianapolis Colts nope. owner did not love Peyton Manning. Not with a fused back or neck, whatever he had. No, he didn't love him like that, but there's nothing he wrong with Tom Brady. He delivered him a Super Bowl. That's all he the did only one in never- 15 years, and there was a lot of years where the playoffs were disappointing for the Colts, and they had a younger guy you, you who wasn't medically hurt. Said that. But here's my point. They did not dislike. They, they loved I didn't Peyton Manning. They, didn't, they don't it. love him the way Robert Kraft loves Tom Brady as you a son. And my point is, if they really wanted him, he wouldn't be going through this. It, would, it wouldn't even be a conversation. When the time comes, we're going to work out a deal, and Tom Brady is going to wear that New England Patriots, and we'll get the players to help Tom Brady. We won 12 games last year, and we'll win uh, the division again. All we got to do is do that. That should be the conversation, and instead it's not. I'm telling you, Chris, I do not believe he'll be back. That's all. All the signs point that he's not coming back. I don't think it's that cut and dry. I think obviously there's a a good chance he's leaving. I'm not professing to have sources talking to me on, you know, what Brady's going to do. And I I like, I think if some of these teams, I think he'd be a great fit for some of these teams. We'll get into that later, but I don't think it's a done deal. Um, I think Robert Kraft has said, you know, that he wants Brady to meet with other teams. They may want to see what the market is for him. Are teams willing to give him two years? I'm sure the Patriots would rather get Brady back for one year. I would want him back for one year. And then if you play well at 43, then we can discuss another year. So they may want to have him go out there, talk to other teams, and if several teams are willing to give him two years, $60 million, as has been reported about the Raiders, then I think that changes things for the Patriots. And then they understand, you know what, okay, we're not getting him for a year, so let's give him two. This is all – at 43, I don't care how much I love you, this is a business. At 43 years old, I've got to protect my franchise. Now, I think the best thing for New England is to bring Tom Brady back because you don't have a suitable replacement. Bring him back and add some better pieces around him at the receiving position in particular and tight end. That's what they should do. And if they don't do it, I think they'll be sorry. And I think they'll probably miss the playoffs. And it'll be the beginning of a dismal period for the Patriots until they get that next quarterback. What should the Patriots do? Let Tom Brady fly or bring him back for another year or two? It looks like it had to be two. Let's start with Aaron in New York. Aaron, you're on with Chris and Rob. Hey, how you guys doing today? Doing What's great, up, man? man. I agree 100 percent with Rob. Well, that's I know that was actually, a tough sentence to if, utter. <laughs> if they if they agreed 100 percent with uh with um if the Patriots really wanted him, they would have signed him before the season even ended. I don't believe Bill Belichick wants him anymore. They'd probably go for Andy Dalton, maybe possibly if that's a good pick for them. But I wanted I'd rather see um uh, Tom Brady go out. To, uh, one of the LA teams play for the Chargers or something like that. I'm not gonna lie. No, there that's you go. What Rob wants. Yeah, that's the same, Aaron. Thanks. We'll get into that. Aaron read my text. No, let's, I'm just let's kidding. Let's go to Don. Right? <laughs> that's your cousin, Aaron. There ain't no cousin. Stop it. Don in Tucson, Arizona. You're on with Chris and Rob. Hey, how you guys doing? What's doing up, great. Man? What's up, Don? Hey, love the show. Just gotta say, I think that uh, Brady. I think the Patriots don't want him, but you know, how, like. I'm a Steelers fan, and they never come out and say they don't want a player because they know the fans will go crazy. Right. So that's what they're doing. They just they're going to act like it was him. You know, he chose to go. Away. Right. Right. Oh, he wanted all this money. We couldn't commit to it. He wanted this, that, these demands. We couldn't make it. And then to try to take it off of them, being that that they didn't want him. So Rob, let me ask you: Would you be surprised if you found out in? I don't know, two, three weeks, whatever it is, that Brady's going back to New England. You would yeah, be so I'd be shocked. Okay. I'd be shocked. Thanks, Don. Thanks for no. the call. 
What about Mark in Sacramento? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's going on, gentlemen? What's How up, are man? You? Um, I first, first of all, I think they should let him go because he's getting ready to be 43. We saw Father Time tap him on the shoulder. But I think what they're going to do is bring him back, and I'll tell you why. Because of the community, that guy's been there that long. They love that dude. The fans ain't saying get rid of him. They saying bring his ass back. Excuse my French. But I think that's what they're going to do. And here's the other thing I think is going to happen. They were 12 too. and 4. Well, hang People on, acted hang like on. they were horrible last year. They were horrible. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But here's what I think is going to happen, guys. Nobody's put the money on the table yet. And he's got a wife who's business savvy. I bet you she said, don't say nothing until they put the offer on the table. Let's see the offer. She want to see who's going to pay what. Nah, it makes sense. It makes sense for Brady and even to some degree for the Patriots. I mean, if team if if he doesn't get the offers that people think he'll get, then then they don't have to pay him as much. But That's if why he, I've been you know, waiting. No, and but, Brady, if but, he gets big time offers, he can you know but he, what he you, can weigh the options. But what you guys aren't thinking about? Thanks a lot, Mark. There's a bad team tax. There are teams that aren't that good or aren't that marquee. Well, he's not going to a bad team. No, what I mean is, like, Tennessee is not, like, some great place to go to or for your Why brand. Why are you I am. I'm just telling he's you. He's Tom Brady. He could go to Siberia nah, and, and the cameras nah, would be rolling. I'm so, I'm, it's not about the cameras, but I'm telling you, they'll put up a two-year contract. The Raiders win a new, in a new arena will put up a two-year contract guaranteed. The Chargers trying to sell tickets will put up a two-year. This is not about whether somebody's going to give them a two year contract or not, Chris. I don't buy that at all. Somebody will ante up the money Maybe for Tom somebody Brady. somebody gives him three. I'm just Let's saying. Let's go to Nate in Chicago. Nate, you're on with Chris and Rob. Chris, Rob. What's up? Uh, everybody's, everybody's got it wrong. Okay, so here's the thing with the Patriots. One word that describes the Patriots. Disruptors, right? What if, and this is a, you know, conspiracy alert. Ready? <laughs> what if Brady and the Patriots are just kind of holding out they know they're going to get back together. They know he's going to be in New England, but why not dangle Brady in front of a whole bunch of teams so that eventually they're going to have to sign, scramble to sign quarterback? Nate, do stop. Do wait, wait, wait. Well, I don't no even sense. get what? <laughs> that they're going to scr- have to scramble. So they want to keep the other teams the other from fr- signing the free agents they want? Phil well, Rivers. But, but, but what does that do for the Patriots? Nothing. It's not like they're going for one of them. Philip Rivers, is he really changing or, somebody's fortunes? Or if you're saying like Kawhi did it with the Lakers. Teddy Bridgewater. You know what I mean? Like right. that, that was that different. Was, that's different because the Lakers were interested in him. It, it's, it doesn't work for the Patriots because of Bridgewater yeah, or, or Philip Rivers. Think, they don't want him. I don't they don't want those guys. Let's go to John in Austin, Texas quickly. John, you're on with Chris and Rob. How's it going? What's up? Great. How's it going, y'all? Um, first of all, I'll say, Rob, enjoy the cruise. Second of all, Thank they keep you. saying Tom, Tom Brady's going to leave. It's not going to happen. It creates clickbait. It creates stories. What would happen is they give him a two-year deal, maybe an opt-out after the first year. It, nothing is going to happen. They're just creating stories of it. Well, I, I, I don't know if Brady will settle for that. That's the thing. I agree with you. I would love – if I'm the Patriots, I want a two-year deal with a team option after one. But I don't That's know if not, they'll go for that. He can get a two-year right. guarantee. If he can get two years, maybe three. Maybe he can get three from somebody. What if, what if finally what the, if Chargers, get three the Chargers owner who's got a reputation of being cheap finally says, I'm going to have an empty brand-new stadium in L.A., Right. What if John Gruden, instead of that two years sixty, is three years ninety? I mean, I'm I'm just saying, like it makes sense for Brady to at least shop and see what's happening, y'all. It's Chris Broussard. I'm Rob Parker, and we are the, the Odd, Odd Couple. Couple. Check us out as often as you can on YouTube, and always remember, I'm Oscar, and he's Felix. Oh man, are you serious? <laughs>